you're a business leader who wants to continuously upgrade and um, maximize your mental capacity, like upgrading your computer on a daily basis, watch this video. Uh, your brain is like your muscles. It's really a use it or lose it proposition, which is why there's a lot of research to support the idea that um, as people age, those who continue to pursue education or intellectually stimulating activities, really doesn't matter what it is, but those who actually continue to learn and use their brains into old age tend to be mentally sharp until their advanced old age, like late 80s, 90s, maybe even older. So there is real benefit from keeping your brain dynamic. It isn't like, oh, well, you know, I'm here, I'm comfortable, I can do my job, it's easy now, I'm going to coast. That's okay, I guess. But if you're not doing something else useful and challenging with your brain on a frequent basis, your brain is going to get fat and lazy in a sense. So it's kind of the same thing. It really is. Uh, your brain really likes it. Now, the reason I thought of doing this video is I do a 25 mile round trip on Saturdays to fulfill a teaching commitment that I have. And I could just take the train and the train would be easier. Conversely, I could just do these videos in batches of 14 videos twice a month and then schedule them. That would actually be easier and more time efficient, but I would be losing the benefit the same way I would lose the benefit. If I take the train, I don't get the exercise. If I take the bike, I get the exercise and I get the transportation all at once without having to multitask. So the same is true for your brain. As I said, daily or frequent challenging activity for your brain is the reason I've decided to continue to do these videos the way I am, because it's also me being meta. I did something, I believe I called it meta marketing, a video. I'll put it right there. It was essentially a description of how you should if you don't use, demonstrate, live, and uh, apply your products yourself, why would you expect anybody else to use it? You get a lot more credibility. And these products have come from my much, a great deal of, of book study and life experience and combining them and seeing what works. So imagine that you hire a consultant and uh, the, the main, the main connection, the learning and development, the L and D person goes, Oh yeah, well, this is really interesting stuff. Do you apply it yourself? And they go, Oh no, I, I don't use any of what I teach. How would that, how would that go over for you? If that was you, if you're the CEO, how would that go over? It's like, well, I don't, I don't use this. Your first question is going to be, well, then what do you use? Because your impression is of course that Either this doesn't actually work or your consultant uses something better, in which case, why are you paying for the inferior product? But doing a video every day is far more challenging than doing seven videos or 14 videos every two weeks. That's why I do it. In a sense, it's like I do it not because it's easy, but because it's hard because it's challenging. And I actually get a lot of stuff done by doing it this way. Um, in, in so far as I'm not only demonstrating how I do it, what I do by actually doing these daily videos, but also I'm actually accomplishing a lot more by doing them one at a time. It's just only one of them is the production of a video. And I actually counted them up. And I'm not going to go over all of them, but the short version is I'm act actually by doing a video every day rather than batching them. Both would produce videos. Batching them would be more time efficient specifically for video production alone. But just like riding my bike to my teaching commitment, I'm both transporting myself, I'm taking care of transportation and exercise simultaneously while doing a single task. I actually accomplish 12 things by doing daily videos. I'm doing my own brain training. 
I'm demonstrating and practicing the, you know, practice what you preach. Uh, it's also showing and helping me develop a product based on the real time experience and the challenges of doing something like this every day. It's sometimes so unpolished as to this video that you're watching right now. It's actually a second recording. Fortunately, I have an, an ally out there on the internet who messaged me and said, Tim, your write up for your video seems nice, but your video has no sound. So I actually put this video out already once. Today is actually two days later from the, the first release. I forgot to do the sound. Oops. So I'm redoing it. These are the kind of things that will help me understand the challenge of the principles that I'm talking about and how they can be best applied and how, ver how to overcome challenge, the only place we can actually know what really works. And that is in the real world from real application and real testing. So it's giving me all these things. It's giving me field testing of the product, product demonstration, proof that I live what I teach, but also that it works. I can point back to as of today or at the end of today, 144 examples of how a person can do a video every day and at least while the cinematography and some of the other things that might not be shiny there's no video editing the content the material the information in it doesn't suck it's actually pretty good and it's based on real science so that's what it does it also gives me i'm writing my video outlines on a daily basis it doesn't give me a lot of wiggle room I, I plan, whenever I get an idea, I write it down, but I usually write the video the day that I actually record the video, which is what I, I originally did with this one. It's also, uh, I do a lot of other things that are happening. I'm not going to go over the rest of them, but here's one that's really um, fundamental, and that is being where I am now at video today was actually, like I said, will actually be 144, but I have done, including this one, 143 consecutive daily videos. People always talk about, be confident, imagine a good future, guarantee that you never fail and all this other mostly crap that doesn't work. And the reason that's true is because being overconfident without actually earning through real objective accomplishment leaves you actually with low self-esteem and that's been proven. Um, they got it wrong about somewhere back in the 1970s or whatever, some researchers found they thought that self-esteem caused success. Turns out that success or accomplishment causes self-esteem. So by doing one of these every day for 143 days, it isn't just a theoretical thing that I'm overconfident that I could do it, but I've never done it. I have done it. And the way that that affects your own confidence and your own efficacy to say, this wasn't easy and it hasn't been easy, but I have done it is the kind of thing you can't get from imagining it, visualizing it and all that other nonsense because the real world interacts with that information. The best way to practice something is in the real world under real world conditions. And the challenge produced by that really helps your neuroplasticity. It's like, it's like going to the gym and doing heavy lifting every day. If you could do it, and with your brain, you can as long as you get enough sleep, healthy food, healthy relaxation between your sessions, sometimes on Usually on weekends, all I do is this video. I do no other business stuff. But the bottom line is I actually do this stuff. So this is really what it comes down to. I did this same thing. I proved these same principles a long time ago. Essentially, while doing it this way, besides all of the myelination, all of the neuroplasticity that occurs, you have a mindset. You no, you can do something this challenging because you've already done it. That's a great place to go into other things with. So this is it for Crush It Club 
142, Neuroscience of Brain Training. My name is Timby Green. Bye for now.